morning to see sessions. Too tired. I feel rough. Oh, I feel pretty rough. My name is Claire. Two years ago, I returned from Australia with a newfound appreciation for the Emerald Isle. I wanted to do everything cool there is to do in Ireland, and I gave myself two years to do it. Two years later, it's too much fun to stop, so I'm extending it. This is my Irish bucket list. <laughs> and see sessions begins. <laughs> well, it's lovely. This is not my normal festival attire, but uh, we're gonna go play tag rugby, so. Fucking loving the sea sessions, man. <laughs> Hi, Bob! <laughs> hey, knock, knock! Who's there? I need up. I need up who? Hey! It's great drawing in that tent. <laughs> We're in getting breakfast and there's so many people in here in like the absolute depths of depression. <laughs> Needed. Uh, and then we're going to play tag rugby down the beach because it's not just about getting drunk. <laughs> So this yeah, person no, runs no, no, straight, no, no. then well, we instead like of us just out, like yeah, yeah, you need you need to come in. Like, yeah. Yeah. Such a typical Irish thing to do is like it's fucking freezing, so let's get in the water like fully glowed. Oh! <laughs> oh, <here we> <laughs> that went on me short. <laughs> if you paid me, I wouldn't swim. And then <laughs> what do you think? So I'm just back from sea sessions just after dropping clear off and uh, I'm very I'm a very tired bear. It was absolutely brilliant. I loved the way it was so much more than just a music festival. So there was the tag rugby, there was the beach, the surfing, there's a wakeboarding competition I think on today that we can get to wait and see and it was really chilled out. Everyone was lovely, there was no drama, no stress. It was like, it was brilliant. And I tell you something for nothing, we got an air bed in our tent and I'd never go back. I'd never go back to camping without an air bed. Honestly, it was amazing. I'm going to go to my house now and sleep forever. <laughs> I'll put links in the description 
to the website where you can see the pictures and you know buy tickets for next year. It was the most banter and the best crack festival I've ever been to. Sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. I got my tea. Oh yeah. Actually a video, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, is it? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you, don't be doing that, or you get me in trouble. I just had a real hungover moment, you know, where you like don't get a joke and then you get it and then you snort your tea everywhere. And there was this guy and he was wearing this t shirt with a cartoon that said, Hey, sexy ladies. And I was like, Hey, sexy ladies. And then I realised it was a guy who was trying to just spat my tea everywhere. It's not funny, it's not a funny story. I'm very, and like, I'm, I'm reaching that stage of hungover. Good story, Claire, tell it again. Camera's not waterproof, so let's not tempt fate. Let's get out while the going's good. While the camera's still dry. Let's <laughs> come, Ross. What is he going? Hello. What's the buzz? I was going to even go and chat to the security guard, but look at since you put out the window, we'll chat. I bought a pair of thongs last night and they're like flip, they're normal flip flops but then they have this thing at the bottom and every time you walk in the sand it leaves an imprint like a pair of thongs. Brilliant. My hair's looking well. 